In this video, I am going to use the chain rule for derivatives to find the derivative of y is equal to sine of x cube. So just to remind you, the chain rule for derivatives tell, tell you the following f composed to g prime of x, okay, is equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x so we just need to write the write this sign x cube as a composition of two functions f and g and it's very easy to do let's assume that g of x is equal to x cube and then f of x is just sine of x then if you do the composition you are going to get uh, sine of x cube this is how it works f composed with g of x is equal to f of g of x now that is by the way equal to f of but g of x is x cube right so i just plug in x cube uh, in the argument of f now what does f do to its input now you kind of have to think about x cube as input going into f all f does to its input is just gets the sign of it so in this case it's just going to take the sign of the input so which is sine of x cube so let's put a parenthesis here this is different by the way this is different than sine cube of x just to just to remind you this is sine x cube you take the sign of the x cubed value whereas you take sine of x and then cube it here so that's the difference now having said that let's go ahead and find uh, g prime of x first which is very easy so if we find the g prime of x so g prime of x is gonna be just the derivative of x cube using the power rule that is gonna be 3x square now we are gonna find f prime of g of x so this is gonna be f prime of g of x now this is where you kind of have to think like slightly differently if you if you were to find f prime of x let's say just you're going to find f prime of x you're going to write f prime of x the derivative of sine of x right derivative of sine of x which is very easy cosine of x so you are you have input x and you are taking derivative with respect to x However, here your input is g of x and you're going to take derivative with respect to g of x, whatever the g of x is. In our case, g of x is x cube, so x cube. So think of x cube kind of like the input x. Think of it as a one unit. You can change the variable if it helps you understand better. Instead of using x cube, you can use, say, u, okay? If your x cube is u, then it's going to be just sine of u. So what is going to be the derivative of this thing? It's going to be just cosine of, let's say, u. Okay, I just introduced another variable. Now, u is actually x cube. So it's going to be cosine of x cube. So technically, you are taking derivative derivative of f with respect to g of x not with respect to x so that is the difference between the two so make sure that you are clear on that so typically i would have written df over dx right that's what it is now instead of this what i'm going to write df over dx cube so I'm taking derivative with respect to x cube as opposed to taking derivative with respect to x. So this is what it is. So now you have both of the things that you needed. So you have the f prime of g of x. You have f uh, g prime of x. So your derivative of the composition function. So this is going to be my y at this point because this is sine of x cube. So I can write it as y. So the derivative of dy over dx, which is going to be just this, is going to be equal to f prime of g of x, which is this value, cosine of x cube, times the derivative of g prime of x, which is 
this 3x square. So your answer should be this. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.